mother of a gay male and I'm national spokesperson for parents with lesbian daughters and gay sons. huge impact on this state and it's going to have a huge impact on the uh, LGBTI community here in Queensland because this place uh, I've been here working regularly for the last 14 years and I've watched it grow from a grassroots um, organization into a well-defined uh, group and with the so many programs and, and uh, opportunities and services that this organisation now offers is way beyond most people's comprehension. This is a place where anybody who's young and maybe coming out is, is they know that this is the place that they can come for information on safe sex, how to break the isolation even if they're stressed, suffering depression. They know that this is the place that they can come where they will get referrals to organisations and groups that will help them. place that I believe has helped to keep the HIV um, so-called epidemic down to a minimum. I think it's also a mis, a mis, it's a mistruth to say that HIV is increasing in this state because quack has lost its way because a lot of people they may be diagnosed here in Queensland but it doesn't mean to say that they were infected here in Queensland. We have people coming from PNG where HIV is increasing. They come to North Queensland to be diagnosed. You've got a lot of people going on holidays overseas and thinking that they're on holidays and they will be safe which of course we know isn't true. And so there's a lot of reasons why HIV has slightly increased, but it is certainly not the fault of this organisation and the, um, the ability to govern and function properly. The only kind of governments that I know that do this are certainly not democratic and they're certainly not Christian. So I'm just wondering what the LNP are going to choose next because they've already started to defund other organisations and I think if you're feeling that you're safe because you're not gay or lesbian and so you won't be affected by this, who knows what they're going to choose next and that may affect you. So I would be suggesting to anybody who may not identify as gay or lesbian in uh, Queensland they still should be considering the impact or future impact it will have when they start to cut funds to groups and organisations that do affect them. And I think it's a prime opportunity now to speak up and stand up for equality. You need to ask yourself, do you agree with discrimination? And do you agree with marginalised groups being discriminated against in such a manner that can only cause them hardship, it will increase depression, it will increase suicide because a lot of people feel that there's lack of hope, it will be making these people again, the gay community feel that they're second rate and nobody wants to feel second rate. So I think that the LNP have done themselves a huge injustice and what they're going to do is cause themselves more work and the negative impact that this decision of theirs has made on the gay community I think is absolutely appalling and I, all I can say is I think that they really should be ashamed. It matters to me. It matters to us.